I've been working with some people at Protocol Ops on some optimization work uh, for I sharing IPFS node in the browsers. Um, so it's a, gonna be a brief crash course. The conventional web browsers tend to expect that all the data gonna be funneled to them through one server farm. And that can be really, really efficient and it works great. Uh, however, it has downsides. If you have multiple devices that are also trying to get the same data, so even if they're in the same room, they will still have to go over through that server farm to get it. Um, IPFS works slightly differently than that. It usually creates many, many network connections uh, and then tries to talk to those peers directly. So if you use just IPFS in the browser like this demo shows, um, this is briefly how it works. Uh, however, if you kind of look under the covers, uh, there are some issues with that. Uh, there are a lot of stuff happening. So there are a lot of connections data being processed. So all this kind of adds up, and especially because it runs in the main thread, uh, browser is pretty busy executing stuff on the main thread. Uh, so at least on my machine, uh, which is MacBook Air, I usually get around 6.3 megabytes usage per one tab in the browser. And I don't exactly know how many network connections. However, once you open another tab, you wind up with uh, doubling the amount of memory you use and doubling the number of connections you create, even though you share the same uh, data store. Uh, and this number just kind of keeps increasing linearly, uh, multiplied by the number of tabs you have open. That is because we don't necessarily share anything other than store within the between the browser uh, tabs. Uh, there's also some few other problems that arise uh, by that because they end up sharing the same data source, they end up sharing the same peer ID, and then network gets a little confused because uh, you wind up with multiple peers with the same ID and usually only one of them gets really connected. So again, like if you just open 10 tabs uh, with IPFS, same apps that I showed, uh, you will have around 64 megabytes memory use. Um, uh, but we can do better than that. Uh, and this is the work that I've been doing here. Uh, we were trying to uh, do some IPFS node sharing. So you see the same example application, but this one uh, uses a shared node. Uh, the things that changed here is instead of connecting directly to the network, we have a shared worker in the browser, and that's where IPFS node is running and it's uh, sharing uh, and it's connected to the network. Um, if you look at the memory profile of this, it's slightly worse for the single tab use case because we have about six megabytes in, uh, taken by the worker, around 2.3 by the main thread. Uh, however, uh, as you kind of end up uh, creating more uh, tabs, uh, you'll start seeing benefits. Even with two tabs, uh, you suddenly equation changes. You we still use the same six megabytes in the shared worker, but then two different tabs will connect to it, and they each use about 2.3 megabytes of memory. Uh, and even nicer thing is uh, we don't have that issue with the network connections anymore because they are shared, so we don't increase network connections. And all the subsequent tabs, they don't need to bootstrap node because they all share. Uh, and as number increases, like if we look at the same number of 10 tabs, you will have same end connections and you'll have about 30 megabytes memory usage, which is about a half as you would otherwise. Um, what's even most talking is a CPU load. Um, I'm a little not sure if my numbers are here correct, but I see in this demo, I tried to profile 10 tabs uh, on Chrome, which was taking about 18% of my CPU load. Uh, then I tried the demo that uses a shared node, and with 40 tabs, it takes about 2% of CPU. If you want to know how to use it or start using it today, uh, there are packages on NPM, and it's part of GitHub JS IPFS repo. Um, so there are two pieces, one is a client and a server. So client is very similar to how HTTP client works. You can, you can spawn a uh, worker, with a server uh, with the JS IPFS in it, and then you can connect uh, through the message port to the client. And then the client implements the IPFS API, so you can add files and read files and do stuff like that. 
uh, on the server side, you just create a uh, server and pass it a JS IPFS instance, and it will serve it to all of its clients. Um, so there's what's, uh, there are a lot of patches that are still in the pipelines that will be coming as uh, it will reduce some overhead or uh, that current implementation has. Um, at the moment, all of this work is focused on the sharing node across the same browser origins. Uh, getting it to work across multiple origins is slightly more work. So that's what will be coming next. And so the process, we sort of also identified some of the things that uh, maybe it makes sense to have something like IPLD with IPFS network, and we're ca calling it for now DAG service, uh, because that seems to be the subset of APIs that most of the users we talk to are using this for. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who helped make this happen, both within IPLFS, uh, or sorry, protocol apps, and outside, uh, specifically Streetbox, Textile, Orbit, and Flick were instrumental to providing feedback loop and uh, sharing what they use, how they use, so we can, uh, so we could calibrate the work to that.